Okay, so the fly's covered up. That's unfortunate, but it happens. Uh, and the Triumph is here. Um, I want to change this stud here because I didn't like the bite of it. I think it's it's threaded. I think the way you put them on and you push them in, it all gets a bit threaded. So I've got a new stud for there. And then um, I'm going to put on the wassails. Now, if you guys happen to see me doing the shorts for the wassails, and um, apologies about that to the regulars. Uh, don't worry about watching them. But basically, I've not seen enough. There's no videos on the wassails. There's videos showing you them, people taking them apart. But there's no videos showing if they work or not. So my plan is for this video to be able to, you know, to actually help people by showing them whether they should spend just over £200 on a pair of carbs or £650 on ML uh, Premiers. And that's if you can find them. Uh, it's a huge price, guys, for carbs, uh, 650 quid. If these alternatives do the job, then very, very happy to use them. They look stunning. So I'm going to show you guys them, and I'm going to start a couple of shorts as well for people who might be searching. That was so weird, guys, doing a short which is a vertical um, one, you do it like this. Um, and now coming back to you. So these wassails, uh, they're meant to be brilliant. They're meant to be good from uh, the what, you know, few reviews I've seen already. And uh, I'm very excited to put them, in, put them in. I need to remove the chokes. We're not using the chokes because we have the ticklers. And I'm gonna chuck them on and I'm not gonna film it because there's no point, but you'll see them on soon and we'll kick the bike over and I really, really, really hope this bike finally becomes a usable product because uh, it's too beautiful mm -hmm. to be sitting in there doing nothing. So just to give you guys an idea of what we're looking at, um, this is the Wassels versus the AMLs. They're, they're identical in every way. Uh, the finish on the Wassel is probably nicer. It's, a, it's probably a nicer finish but uh, everything about it is identical so far. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so far guys, I bought a new um, nut and bolt set here for this one because it had rounded the original. Um, you can see it here. And it's because of the weird angles that you're getting in on. But um, I don't want to mount these carbs. Bear and I offer to use my small fingers to, to, to fix this, just, just keeping this in mind. I am here in the background, by the way. Sorry about that droning noise. <laughs> um, I don't want to mount these on. If this works, I want this to be the permanent fix. So I'm going to order three more. Uh, I'm not going to continue today because uh, basically it's not, I'm not getting the bite out of this and there's no point. So uh, I'm going to order three more and maybe the, um, yeah, three more and then next week we'll get these put on. We've got all the setup right, which is good. That's all done, but we do need it to be uh, mounted properly because that might be the full time. So we are ending here. Um, I haven't heard back from the owner of the fly yet, but uh, he's gonna have to add forty quid to his kind of what he 40 needs. Forty quid, charge me more, mate. Take no, no, that's for the part. What happened to Take him to the cleaners. He bought me the Piaggio fly to look at, and he. he Pull it on its side in the back of the fan. And then it fucked up? Yeah, basically. All the oil's gone everywhere. All the um, electrics have been pulled when he dragged it in or out. And, uh, yeah, it's basically it's caused a lot of damage. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. I uh, really, really, really wanted to hear this today, but not going to continue because uh, I want it to be done properly. And John's here next week anyway, so... Uh, and, and Sultan's here next Sultan's week, that's the main thing. Sultan's not invited next week. Hey, 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 I, I, I... So, currently these wassails are on and nipped up. No issues there. Um, I've got a bit of concern about the fuel lines. Uh, the middle one isn't quite... Um, it isn't on as snug as I would normally like. And the first thing we need to check is, does this system just hold the fuel? Knowing our luck on this bike at this stage, they'll leak once I switch them on. Round two, do the carbs leak? To be fair, they, they didn't, except for the joint, which is kind of okay. Uh, good, good. 
good. I'm going to give that a minute. I'm going to pull the bike out over here and then we're going to fire it and see how it warms up. And if it warms up okay, I'm going to take it for a quick test spin.